know that uh, many of you have any uh, real notion of where I happen to be right now, but I wanted to drop by here really since I've uh, arrived in Idaho for the last 18 months. And what shocks me is how difficult it is to actually find this place, because it isn't. You just drive up the highway and you drive into Ketchum, Idaho, and there's a sign for a small cemetery, and it mentions <laughs> Ketchum Cemetery, and that's it. And you drive in here, but look at the look at the messages and the notes that people have left here, and the the drinking glasses. I was reading one time where someone came here and they found a shot glass with a bullet inside it. There's a golf ball. There are coins left, uh, just to let the great man know that people people were at this spot. Just a very short, quick story about what this means to me. When I was a young man, I picked up a, a complete volume of Hemingway's works. Complete volume meaning something along the lines of all of the, 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 the short stories and the novels that he wrote. And I ended up reading that thing from cover to cover. Interestingly enough, I once at a time thought that in my younger days that, that I had a lot of parallels to Hemingway's life. But then, oh, about late 1980s, early 1990s, our lives, uh, the stories of our lives diverged greatly. His experience is certainly much more exciting than anything I ever had in life. Mine being much more sedate, much more calm, much more conservative, not necessarily in a political sense. But here I am today to, uh, to say a quick hello and maybe a quick goodbye. Keep in mind that over the course of the last, oh golly, several decades, his reputation is taking a beating because it wasn't politically correct for a long time to be known as a womanizer and sometimes a drunkard and sometimes a guy who shot large animals. Uh, because hunting, of course, is not what liberals like, and they write all of the literary reviews, or at least most of them. But now we're back to a period where Hemingway is once again respected, and I can only say this. If you've never read The Man, uh, it is one of the easiest things to read. One of the reasons that he was such a great storyteller, short sentences, short words. He didn't, uh, he didn't sit down to look through a thesaurus before he started to write. So uh, just a quick note. Uh, I have finally made it here, and <laughs> I guess you could say in one sense, this is something I'm crossing off my bucket list, uh, and it's a very, very special moment for me, this uh, this uh, warm, early summer morning here in the, in, uh, in the hills, the mountains of Idaho. Uh, God bless, Ernest. It's been a long, long time.